The Honourable Member for Calgary Pagan. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Deerfoot Trail is Alberta's busiest road where accidents and traffic jams are all too common. In addition to Deerfoot Trail being part of the daily commute for many of my constituents in Calgary Pagan, it is also a major transportation line for essential goods and services. The update to Alberta's public-private partnership, P3 model, allows for greater flexibility in building infrastructure. To the Minister, what kinds of improvements can we expect to see to reduce congestion on Deerfoot Trail? The Honourable, the Honourable Minister of Infrastructure has the call. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Our government understands that Deerfoot Trail is an essential artery to the city, which is becoming increasingly congested. Improvements are needed. That's why we have committed $210 million as part of the P3 model, and we expect almost $200 million in additional private funding. Taxpayers' investments will help Calgarians to get to their destinations safely, quickly, and efficiently. Some of our top priorities include uh, lane, lane widening, interchange improvements, new ramps, eliminating The Honourable Member for Calgary Pagan. Given that Deerfoot Trail is a vital part of many Calgarians' commutes and transportation of essential goods, and given that Deerfoot Trail is such a busy road with approximately 180,000 vehicles daily, further given that there is a significant amount of accidents and a high concentration of congestion on Deerfoot Trail, to the Minister, how can we expect these changes to ensure safer travel for Calgarians? The Honourable the Minister of Infrastructure. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Safety is a top priority for both Transportation Minister and myself. Our investment will include important safety-related work such as the upgraded signage, pavement markings and reflections on the barriers near the Kafro Bridge and sections of the road near 17th Ave. We are going to focus on improving the most congested areas on the highway first to improve the traffic flow, reduce travel times, and increase safety for commuters in the Calgary region, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable the Member for Calgary, Pagan. Thank you to the Minister for that answer. Given that Alberta's government has committed $210 million to the construction phase for the improvements and expects almost $200 million in additional private investment, and given that the strategic investment into the development of infrastructure will ultimately lead to a more streamlined and safer means of transportation for Calgarians, to the Minister, how will these investments influence economic growth in Calgary? The Minister of Infrastructure. Mr. Speaker, our investment will create thousands of well-paying jobs, support trade and tourism, and support future city growth. Our P3 model means we double the taxpayers' investment with private money allowing us to upgrade twice as many bridges and intersections. These upgrades will reduce commutes, lower green gas, uh, greenhouse gas emissions, and improve safety for 180,000 vehicles that use it may daily. I would like to compliment the member from Calgary, Pegan. Unlike those uh, guys barking there, she has been a strong... 